All right, guys, it's time for a Moto Van update video. Unfortunately, it's not the update video that I want to make. That means that the ceiling is done, though it's getting there and I still have some few ideas. So pay attention for that video early 2020. What we're going to do today is update our bolted on Moto Van rack here with the new Pro Wheel Chalk. So they updated and upgraded the chalk that comes with the rack standard with a attachment arm for mountain bikes. So obviously it is adjustable so that you can do anywhere from kids bikes up to 29ers road bikes, things of bigger wheel capacity now that we're all there these days. And then also a strap to make sure that everything stays placed. So we're gonna attach this guy to the rack, show you how quick that happens. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive around and show you how well everything stays attached in the van while you're driving around. We'll even find a couple speed bumps do some speed wobbles so that way you can see yeah we're gonna go to a lot of gravel roads this thing's not gonna go anywhere so let's get this thing installed and let's get all these bikes loaded up <laughs> Now, as you can see, that did not take very long to do. The system is so easily modular that you can move it from different vans into trailers, things like that, add different uh, chocks as you need them for potential bikes fitting weird ways and things like that. Or if you need to put a bunch of these guys on because you're doing a bunch of mountain biking versus a bunch of dirt biking. The only difference with this is because of the fact that you're gonna be using this, this built-on attachment is you need to tighten down this chock so that the whole chalk doesn't move a little bit like that while you're going down the road. So just a 13 millimeter. And now that chalk is extremely stable and you can just use the attachment and the strap here to hold all the mountain bikes. So let's get all of our bikes loaded up, including Liam's little PW50 and my Mondraker Factor R and show you guys how we can drive around with this bad boy. There you have it. Bikes loaded up and we're ready to rock and roll. So let's go drive this thing around the neighborhood, find some speed bumps, do some speed wobbles, and uh, show you guys how well this thing works. One thing to think about while we drive out of town, <laughs> while we drive out of the neighborhood, is you notice that I loaded the mountain bike in backwards. I did that because three quarters of the mountain bike from the rear is much more stable than the other quarter from the front. When you attach it from the front, you have a better chance of the rear end bouncing around because there's so much more weight back there in the back part of the motorcycle. So if you attach the rear to the front, you're going to have a better chance of things not moving around on you and bouncing around and being not where you want them to be. So we'll, we'll test that. We'll flip the mountain bike around when we, uh, after we get some, uh, some speed wobbles and some speed bumps out of the way. Alright, luckily enough we've got a middle school and a high school right here by my house. So we're gonna take a left into their parking lot and we're gonna go play around on some of their speed bumps. Speed 
wobble. Speed bump. All right. Well, let's go turn that Mondraker around. <coughs> Drive back up the hill and back to the house and see if it holds itself any different. Unlock the van. Now we've turned the mountain bike around so that the front end is what is attached. We've got the strap on, the attachment tight, and go back up the hill, do some speed wobbles, and play around on some of the speed bumps. A little bit of speed wobble back and forth. Ah, we're just seeing some side to side, which is all good. Speed bump. Speed bump. All right, we're gonna take a left this time and hit some more speed bumps on our way home. bike stayed in place, dirt bike stayed in place, little Liam's PW50 stayed in place. So if you're looking at getting any of these, you're going to want to play around with what works best for you. If you follow Bolted On on Instagram, I've noticed that they've got quite a few different customers that have played around with different ways already of using the Pro Wheel Chalk with different types of mountain bikes. Um, as well, when you are buying different setups for the Bolted On system, they make different lengths on these chalks. So if you have a longer sprinter and can fit more, that way, you know, bikes can sit a little bit staggered and that way the handlebars wouldn't be in the way. Like obviously with a mountain bike and a dirt bike, it's not that big of a deal. But definitely pay attention to their Instagram. Reach out to them if you're interested, ask questions. Um, I, again, if you've noticed throughout the whole time of me using the Moto Van, this bolted on system has been amazing. And if you were to even get to a place where you're gonna maybe be camping an entire week in your Moto Van and you wanna take this out, as you saw, just to change this out, it took a minute. So to remove this whole system and store it maybe underneath your van or just more towards the front so you're not tripping on it while you're camping for an entire week in your moto van, that's not gonna be an issue. It's gonna be easy, quick, and fast to do. So I've been very impressed with the bolted on system. I'll have links in descriptions for, uh, I'll have links in the description so you guys can go check that out. Again, be ready for more moto van uh, updates coming for 2020. The goal is definitely to finish this thing before summer which uh, it's already been a year and a half, so <laughs> that's probably not gonna happen, but hey, there it is. Ask questions in the comments, man. Hopefully give this guy a thumbs up, share with your friends, anybody that might be building a moto van or working on a van that's gonna be for adventure capacity with mountain bikes, anything like that. Um, I hope you guys had a great 2019, and uh, well, let's look forward to an amazing 2020. Thanks again, guys. Remember, always enjoy a pint full of awesome. Peace.